good morning and good afternoon, I should say, if you're watching in the afternoon. Um, we are going to cover uh, Lesson 107 today, Biological Organization 1. And by the way, it's Mrs. Kitson talking at you this morning. So if you just sit back, relax, listen, um, the things I discuss in this video um, will help you with CRQ number 2. So again, I am in lesson 107. I'm actually on page two of the explore section of lesson 107. And um, we're gonna study today something called biological organization. Uh, organization is a key principle in the study of life at the most basic level. Many of the questions biologists ask have to do with organization. How are the components of living things put together, and how do those components work together? Scientists ask, what is the function of a newly discovered gene? Where inside of a cell is energy produced? How do muscle cells power movement? How do the parts of an ecosystem fit together and function as a whole? Each question addresses an aspect of organization in the biological world. By understanding the principles of organization, biologists try to piece together a better understanding of the connections between living things and between the parts of any single living organism. I love these pictures over here um, in the course. You can see uh, this is a picture of muscle cells and it says here from this from cells to entire organisms the components of living things are organized to function as a unit. So you have individual uh, muscle cells that organize to form muscle tissue and then the tissue organizes to form the whole muscle which of course then you have the leg right your muscle your leg muscles can move the leg and then you put all the muscles together in your body and you end up with um, an entire organism so we're going to talk today about how cells organize into tissues tissues into organs and then organs into organ systems so we're going to start at the bottom of this upside down triangle or pyramid if you will um, we're going to start with the cell which is the basic unit of life the cell is the most basic unit an essential part of an organism the cell is the factory where the components of an organism are assembled and it is the power plant that provides the organism with the energy it needs to survive the cell contains genetic material which gives the cell the blueprints for growth and development and is passed from parents to offspring. Within the cell, there are also smaller structures called organelles. Organelles are differentiated structures within a cell. Organelle examples would be the mitochondrion, vacuole, chloroplast in a plant cell, and each of them performs a specific function. So when you have a group of cells that all are performing a similar function, they organize into tissues. A tissue is a group of cells that are similar in structure and that work together to perform a certain function. For example, um, stomach cells will work together to perform a specific function. Those stomach cells will um, organize into stomach tissue. So after the cells organize into tissues, the tissues then organize into organs. What's interesting is in the word organize is the word organ, right? So individual specific cells all performing the same function organize into tissues. Tissues that are all performing the same function organize into organs and you can see here these are lungs so lung cells will organize into lung tissue which will then organize into the lung the organ itself you can probably name many organs the next level of um, organization after tissues of course your heart lungs brain and kidneys are all organs an organ is made up of two or more tissues and has a specific function most organs in your body have a combination of all four types of tissue, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nerve. So remember, cells organize into tissues, 
tissues organize into organs. So then when you have a few organs all performing similar functions within the same system in the body, you call that an organ system. Cells organize into tissues, tissues into organs, and organs into organ systems. The highest level of organization in your body is the organ system. Organs in your body are arranged into organ systems or groups that function together. For example, your digestive system includes the mouth, stomach, and intestines, each of which plays a role in breaking down food and extracting nutrients from it. Using the example of the stomach, stomach cells, all performing a similar function, organize into stomach tissue. Two or more tissues organize into the organ and a bunch of different organs organize into the organ system. Stomach cells into stomach tissue, stomach tissues create the organ, which is the stomach itself, and then the stomach is part of an organ system called your digestive system, which has other parts to it, right, other organs, like your intestines, your mouth. And then finally, when you take all of those organ systems and you put them together, you get the whole organism. <laughs>